guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi I'm Sin and welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm actually going to be taking you guys along the ride of me going from one protective style back to the same protective style only difference is literally what is up under my wig I'm going to read my cornrows these cornrows are probably between two months or maybe two and a half months old I've had these for a while I like to just wear my cornrows until they grow out that's how I've been growing my hair for the last longest that's just where it just works for me I leave it alone switch up my wig do whatever and my hair just grows so basically today I'm going to take you from me taking my cornrows out deep conditioning because I like to deep condition before I wash my hair I might actually take you guys into the shower with me and then my how I prep my hair to blow dry it and then getting my hair cornrowed all over again so basically just start out I'm gonna let you guys see what is actually up under <laughs> my wig by the way you guys this wig is my deep curly hair from my website for my hair collection on cncdbeauty.com and then the lip gloss that I'm wearing if you guys do not know I currently sell lip gloss also I have six different shades and this is just this um the shade sweetie and um it is strawberry flavored so you know support your girl link is in the description box and also a discount code for you guys use code YouTube to get money off your purchases but anyway back to what I was saying I'm going to y'all don't come for me don't talk about me y'all know my cornrows is dusty crusty they I know they're horrible <laughs> it's you know I know so you know don't come for me down in the comments <laughs> yes you can't even see my scalp so I'm gonna put her on the bed so you guys basically like this is my braids and I know it's horrible you can't even see scalp anymore yeah but I'm gonna take out my gel braids I take them out dry because it's just that's just what I do so yeah I'm probably gonna speed through me taking them out and probably watch YouTube so I'll just do uh, I guess either a voiceover or just let it speed through with music whichever one I do you'll see so all right guys so I literally just you know took down my braids like you would take down braids regularly but I did not record me taking down all the braids. I only took down one braid on camera because y'all, literally I watched almost like a 40 minute video on YouTube and I watched that video and another video taking down these braids. Like they were so tangled and I just feel like I did not take care of my hair during this braid down enough. So my hair just like, just matted together and it took me so long to take out the braids like it was crazy and then when i got to the front it was just a whole bunch of like built up gel and edge control and of course you know got you know that i wear frontal wigs so it was a little bit of like glue in there some of everything then you know it's dirt and stuff at the root like you guys can see it like this was like a very dirty braid down and my hair just was not having it it did not like the fact that I left it like that but I just took down all the braids and then the only thing I detangled was the front at the beginning and then when I got the whole braid taken out I kind of combed it through a little bit but I combed it through as you guys can see now I combed it through with a wide tooth comb at the end just kind of get it detangled before I put my deep conditioner on it And my scalp was so sore like you guys can see from my face like 
I was so over it. Like, coming out my hair, like right there, you guys can see in my face. This is not it, sis. Like, this right here was not my favorite part. But then I just combed my hair down because, of course, they had to go take a picture on Snapchat or whatever. But then my hair went and actually laid down like how I wanted it to. But that's all the hair that I lost during that process. And here I'm just showing you guys the order that I had got. So make sure you guys, you know, shop Sin City. It's in the description box below. And this is not a deep conditioner. This is called the Root Conditioner. It looks like a, a restorative rinse out conditioner or whatever. But I used it as a deep conditioner. And I had got it from Sally's because it was on sale. It was on the clearance. I love going to Sally's and trying stuff off of the clearance. That's just like something I like to do. But literally, I used that entire jar. It was maybe like half. So I used it probably like a total of two times. And I used the entire jar on my head. And yes, my hair is dry. I did put the deep conditioner up there dry. That's just something that I like to do sometimes. I just, when it comes to my hair, I really just do stuff. Like, <laughs> however I feel at the moment is what I do. But I'm just putting the deep conditioner up there until I feel like I get it everywhere. More than likely, I probably didn't get it everywhere because I did do it dry, but I did try. But as you guys can see, my hair is, my hair just looks crazy. And I don't know, I look like an old lady right here. But once the deep conditioner actually sat in my hair, you could see the shrinkage where it actually started to absorb the hair. But if you don't know, I have low porosity hair, so it takes a lot for my hair to absorb anything anyway. So... Yeah, but I was just showing you guys how the jar is empty. But after this, after it sit for however long I let it sit, I'll just jump into the shower. And here, guys, I was just playing, swinging my hair around. But really, I just was trying to see the camera angles before I start recording because I didn't need to show anything. And, you know, you know, you know what happens when stuff like that happens. But right here, I'm just basically rinsing out that product. And as I stated before, I have low porosity hair. So, honestly, I wash my hair with the same temperature water that I wash my body with. And this is the shampoo that I use. I use the Hill Hydration Shampoo. I highly recommend it. It is so moisturizing. Like, I love this shampoo. I go between it and Ozzy Moist, but I did not feel like going to Target to get the big bottle of Ozzy Moist, so I just settled for the Hill Hydration Shampoo. But basically, I just kept applying it until I feel like it was everywhere in my hair. That is what I call a quarter size. If that's not a quarter, tell me what to call it. But I call it a quarter size amount. And I rinse my hair out. And honestly, guys, I felt like this water might have been a little too hot, but it did feel good on my scalp, so I, I didn't change the temperature. <laughs> but basically, after I rinsed it out, I used the VO5 conditioner. It's only a dollar, so I really splurge on it, and it has good slip. I use any um scent. I love them all, but on this particular wash day, I had the coconut milk one. And as you guys can see, my camera is fogging up because the water is literally that hot. So I let that sit while I took a shower. And as you see, I tried to wipe the camera lens, but it was so much steam in the actual bathroom. But I just rinsed that out. And yes, I'm still using hot water because I want to get that um, product out my hair. And I don't want to close my, close my cuticles yet, but I still didn't get all the product out my hair, as you guys will see in the next clip. When I take this, um, I think it's a twisty turby, whatever it's called. But... Basically, I'm using a protein spray and then this um, Camilla Rose for natural kids, whatever it is. Y'all, I love it. I got it from Sally's Clearance Owl again. <laughs> that was one of my best pickups. My hair loves it. It does great things for my hair. But basically, I'm just splitting my hair up into four sections because, y'all, my hair, it, just, it really needed some TLC. Like, my hair just, it this braid down just wasn't, my hair wasn't messing with this braid down. So put it in four sections and i was going to use this protein spray but she wanted to add up on camera she wants to throw a fit so i had to use my beyond the zone protein cocktail instead so i just sprayed that everywhere kind of massaged it in a little bit took some of the product and i'm gonna show you guys kind of what it looks like and the texture of it is really thick and like fluffy and i put that all over the section first just to kind of allow me to get into the hair because i haven't detangled my hair since i washed it in the shower as you guys can see so now i'm gonna take it section by section 
and then use my tangle teaser brush y'all i love that brush highly recommend it and then detangle my hair and then i'm just gonna do that until well i'm gonna do that to all the sections until i'm done and as you guys can see in the back i got them two packages ready to go so you know when you order from my website if you order before 1 p.m your order will ship out same day and if you order after 1 p.m it will ship out next day no waits fast shipping time shop with your girl Oh yeah, and let's give a shout out to this length. Y'all, my hair is really growing. I'm probably gonna have to get a trim, like a, <laughs> a huge trim, but huge shout out to the length. And then my boyfriend decided he wanted to come up to the room. So there he is. And I'm over there, now he has my attention. <laughs> so I'm gonna be probably looking over there between him and YouTube while I finish twisting up my hair. And then that was my last twist. And then I just put my little scarf on and went to bed. And then y'all, this is literally like three days later. I just decided to wear my wig on top of the twist. I got lazy. But now I'm back and I'm ready. Got a little bit of energy to blow dry this hair. So I'm just gonna put up into a ponytail and work between two to three twists at a time. And then I'm using um my few Man, y'all seen it. I cannot pronounce that right now. But I'm using that blow dry cream just to kind of help to smooth my hair out when I blow dry it. And then I'm detangling it with the same wide tooth cone I used before. And then I'm gonna blow dry it with my Conier blow dry brush. I have a video on that. So if you guys like to watch it, it's on my channel and I will try to link it down below. And y'all, this is when I knew that my hair <laughs> was going downhill. Y'all, my ends look so thin. But yeah, I'm taking this blue on um, magic hair thing, hair food. Yeah, I'm throwing it right like way, way back with this. I used to use this when I was younger, but I decided to bring it back. And I like it. I use it when I do people hair and stuff like that. So I just put it up there when I um and smoothed it down there and then I braided my hair down just to keep it out the way as I blow dry the rest. And so I just keep doing that. That's how much I use. Put it up there, detangle it, and then blow dry it, put the hair food up there and then braid it back up and then just repeat.
let y'all look at my ends <laughs> like look at that little look like a line of demarcation i don't know but once i blow dry my hair and actually seen it i had decided that instead of going back to cornrows into a wig i'm gonna try to wear my hair out for a little while and wash it on a regular basis moisturize it protein treatments kind of give my girl some love if you guys don't know i call my natural hair sophia try to give sophia you know a little tlc a little love but after this um scene my camera actually decided to you know die so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe and hopefully i see you guys in my next one this is sin signing off peace sin sin city was maybe a angels like you